the machine's been started up. We're opening up the plant for the week. And it's got a situation here called an overstroke. So the first thing I've got to do is wait for the cold start prevention to be completed. More or less, you have to heat up the plastic in the barrel so that you can't spin the screw or do anything with the machine running uh, so that you, you uh, have solid plastic in the barrel and damage something or whatnot. Now that that's out of the way, and I, I'm not going to say that it's the case every time, but when I came over here and tried to do this, it uh, it, stopped, it prevented me from, from attempting this process because of the cold start prevention. Maybe it's because it had been running for a while or whatnot, because I have done this on other machines where I was able to activate the servo without waiting for the cold start prevention, but that's neither here nor there. The first thing you do is you release the method simply by pushing that. You can see cold prevention is complete. Everything's up to temperature. All right. See if we can clear this. Okay. That. And what we're going to try to do is activate the servo. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in. Well, let's go ahead and just see what happens. We're going to activate the servo. The servo does not want to kick on. How about if I put it in manual first? Now activate the servo. Now let's just see if we can get the mold to open. Okay. It says right here, overstroke. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in manual. By holding these down and waiting. There we go, now we're in manual. The manual's gonna kick the servo off, so we'll go ahead and turn that back on. Okay, and once again, it doesn't want to activate the servo. Let's clear this, clear the alarm, activate the servo, and we're going to open the mold. Does not want to open. All right, that's the shortcut. Now we're going to have to do it the long way. All right, let me read off our troubleshooting checklist here. So reset all alarms, we've done that. Got no alarms up here. See, I'm in inject now, not temperature. The cold start prevent must be complete, and it is. Enter emergency mode, which I call override, but that's emergency mode. Turn the servo on. Go to the injection page. So once again, we're gonna go back up here. Run screw back a little. This will rotate the screw back. And that is not happening. This is why you need the cold start prevention for the procedure, because it requires you to move the screw. The screw won't move with the servo off. So why isn't the screw rotating back? Let's try to rotate it forward. Nope, won't do that either. That's a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do, no, wait, hold on. Okay, the screw is moving back, but the light is not on it. Maybe it's because it's in emergency mode. So I moved it back, it said move it back a little. I moved it back a lot, okay. Then forward until the pressure increases. Now here's our pressure. So we'll go ahead and move it forward. Come on. I hear a popping noise. Yep. All right, I just purged some plastic out of the barrel. Press cycle start. Okay. The press will automatically turn the servos off, which it did. All right, next, I've got to press this wrench button on the control panel while pressing the maintenance tab here on the panel on the display screen. 
at the same time. So pressing the wrench button on the control panel and the maintenance tab on the screen brought me to the servo screen. I'm going to go to preset 1. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press reset. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the screw to... Uh, first I've got to turn on the servo and then I've got to run the screw to a positive position. So let's go ahead and turn on the servo and control the screw here. So right now it's in a negative position. I'm going to run it this way. All right, now it's in a positive position. And at that point I'm going to turn off the servo, exit emergency mode. So turn off the servo, exit emergency mode. I'm just going to put it in manual. And it should be calibrated now. So let's go back to let's go to the injection screen here. Let's turn the servo on. And let's open the clamp, hopefully. And there you go. That's how you clear an overstroke on the startup on a Toshiba plastic injection molding machine. Thanks for watching.